Hi guys. So as promised, I'm gonna show you how will I replant this plant to here. I'm gonna put the jalapenos here in a very nice manner. So we're gonna have a lot of chaps in time. As you can see guys, this is just what just this is just like what I uprooted from this a lot of the, the from this pot of jalapenos, these are seedlings. So what I did is just I just dug like certain holes in it and I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay, I'm gonna make it faster because I have to be somewhere and I'm just gonna show you the end results. So here we are guys, <clears throat> I've managed to put some of the jalapenos over there and as you can remember when they, are, when they were just seeds and uh, they're there right now. I'm hoping I can get a lot of jalapenos in the last season. Look at this, this boy, this is my best assistant ever, hey baby. So I dodged some plants here because Marcus planted this herbs. So I don't want to touch it. We want to protect their space, their territories. Okay, so I'm gonna change more. So I'm just gonna water there. I'm gonna have to replant some of that too. I don't know if you can see it, I uprooted this snake plant that I got from the nursery and look how much, how many new, new plants that it has already. So I'm gonna put it in this pot so it's gonna get bigger and stronger. I definitely need to pay more attention to this garden because it, it may be weeks for me, I've been very busy lately, but this garden has been growing like crazy. And over there, right there, all the tomatoes that I planted, the black cream tomato, the cherry tomatoes, they've grown already. So I need to I need to replant those just like what I did on the jalapenos box. I need to I need to do that. Same thing to that one. So it's just I need I just need some time and it's just like you know I just got home from work and I'll probably gonna do it tomorrow morning I have to wake up tomorrow morning so I can I can pay attention to it so as you can see guys it's so green here this is exactly what I imagined but it's it's been so much greenery and I, sometimes I feel like I cannot move here anymore so this is why I feel like planning gardening is very important like I I wish I put I put more like fabric pots here instead like single pots especially on those boxes but I'm, I'm still thankful for those huge boxes because I just got those boxes from the trash so you know it's very it's very like it's very like recycle or reuse type of thing Okay guys, so right here is some of t is the black cherry tomatoes and the cherry 100 hybrid. So what am I gonna do today is I'm just gonna transfer them, scatter them all around the box because summer is almost over. I want to take advantage of the soil and as much as possible I want to take advantage of what harvest can I can get so I'll just show you a picture of this now and I'll show it to you what am I gonna do later by the way these are some of the eggplants that I have it's so small though and these are the sunflowers that I have and I'm so happy about this because they're blooming they have buds developing as you can see Ooh. 
the wild garden. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I just uprooted this one. You can see how small is it. But uh, if you think about it, this plants came from the seed, so it's very amazing. So I'm just gonna put it right back in the soil. Right there. And then I'm gonna cover the roots with soil. Then that's it. That's how you that's how you that's how you transplant. Okay, it's not too hard. It's very easy. It's very fun. It's very rewarding. And of course, look at this is my assistant right here. Hey Lucas, say hi to the camera. Okay guys, so it's done, you can see here. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you something. Tomatoes are typically not to be planted this way, but they could be kept like fat, maybe like one foot away from each other. But since I don't have any space in my mini fire exit garden, I just managed to put them in a the box which worked on the other one which is there on the far end so yeah if you look in my first ever plant vlog this is the ones that, that were seeds and it feels so good to be accomplishing something especially this early and I'll give you guys an update about the pupa and I didn't see it so that's that we got the aloe vera here I'm, I'm, I'm planning to put this one inside this it's just so much here and I'm gonna show you guys here I have another friend here look at these blooms you know I can actually we can actually cook this and then make it like as fritters but probably next time so guys look at this one I have another friend here I feel like she's gonna be a pupa someday in a week or two hey it's crazy right I know I'm not a very big fan of insects and worms but that's part of it. If you create a healthy environment like this, it's inevitable to do, to not have something like that. So I'll show you some of the progress that I made. I've put some spring onions because I've been happy with the spring onions that I've got. And this is the jalapenos that I've planted. So as you can see guys, plant life is not tapping anytime soon. All right, I think that's it for today, guys. You guys have a great day. And uh, that's it for today. Happy planting.